Great show for you tonight. We've got some music in the house. I'm excited to widen your cultural exposure just a little bit. We have author John A. Andrews is in the house. He is the author of a series of books called Rude Boy. If you're not familiar with Jamaican culture, well, allow me to just say that this is a fantastic guy who's written some really cool books. I can't imagine it'll be a whole lot longer before they'll be made into some really cool action movies with Jaiman Huntsu or somebody appropriately dramatic and accomplished like that in the lead role. So we're going to talk about the series, learn a little bit more about John, and have a culturally expanding conversation. Well, I think... Uh there is some precedent for this character and for kind of the, the milieu that he deals in, but by the same token, it's been kind of a long time since we've had a, uh, a, a Jamaican hero and, and somebody that in a lot of ways isn't as present in front of the camera or, or in the pages and yet is a, just a, a, an attractive character people really connect with it. So if you would tell folks about Rude Boy and, and kind of set the stage for the novels. Growing up, I, one of my favorite movies is uh, The Heart of the Calm with uh, Jimmy Cliff. I, I love that movie. Up to uh, a couple of days ago, I was watching it. And uh, when I decided to create the character Rude Boy, I thought about what would I want this character to be like? Uh, would I want him to be a James Bondish? Would I want him to be more than a James Bond? Would I, what would I want him to be like? And uh, growing up as a kid, I wanted to be involved in law enforcement. And it didn't happen because I saw too much corruption in our local police force. But for some reason, what you ask for, you get. And when I decided to write this action thriller, I decided to cement it in the law enforcement genre. And I wanted it to be a Jamaican character or, uh, who is like macho, who is the guy you don't mess with. Who's right. the guy? This guy is going to conquer. You don't want to mess with him. And in Jamaica, you know, they have a rude boy, somebody who you don't mess with. Right. So I want my DA, my drug enforcement agent, to be the type of character who you don't mess with. So I coined him rude boy, and I just make him very dimensional. I mean, a lot of facets to him. I build him up create a nice arc for him and make him a really strong character that could be an international type. Interesting how this kind of character is so compelling for people that he's got a, a tough guy aspect to him where they always say thin line, right? A thin line between a criminal and a police officer. Yes. In a lot of ways, the, the only thing that makes a, a DEA agent or a police officer is the choice to not do the criminal things and yet understanding that criminal aspect and the way criminals think and and that sort of thing was that something that was there from the start kind of that that dichotomy in in this character uh, uh very much very much i i wanted i wanted him to be a notch above the rest uh, I, i've watched a lot of movies and uh, at a point when i got into uh, to writing i i studied movies and uh you know i saw a lot of characters and i looked at how these characters could be better and when i decided to create a rude boy i want him to be a notch above the rest i want him to be the type of character who like okay he's a he's a drug enforcement agent but you know he has integrity he you know he he's uh, he's poignant he has he has a lot of things going for him him, but he stands out. That was the type of character I wanted for Rude Boy. And, and speaking of the arc, since we're two books in, a third to come in the trilogy, can you talk in general terms without giving anything away? Obviously the third book isn't out yet, but kind of talk about what the, what the big arc for the character is, whether it be change or ascension just to a higher level or, or those kinds of things that you've thought about from the beginning. Rude Boy is going to continue to grow as a character. He's, uh, there's a lot of longevity to him, and he, he has roots in martial arts. He has roots as uh, the guy, like a, like a thug on the street, the guy you don't want to mess with. He, he is well put together, and uh, as, we, as I move from, uh, from one, I went into two, and I built him as a stronger character, and as we go into three, uh, he's going to be, he's gonna be just unbreakable. He's going to be the type of uh, uh, drug enforcement agent who you can't mess with, you can't put the guy down. No matter how strong the, the drug cartel is, he's going to find some way to rise above. 
Yeah, and that's why I've coined the, the next one, Shatterproof. I don't know if I should give that out, but Shatterproof, uh, okay. you know, he's unbreakable. Well, we appreciate you giving yes. us a little exclusive <laughs> here on Mountain Views. Shatterproof. Yes, sir. So, uh, film development, are you, are, are you working on film with this character now? Where are you at? Uh, we're currently to, in development right now uh, with uh, the first book and the second book, uh, The Unstoppable and The Untouchable, and uh, it's going really well. We are looking for, we're looking for a lead character who can carry the series, and uh, that's very important. Uh, there are a lot of actors out there, but we want somebody who can carry the series. So what are your thoughts on trying to attract somebody who is already a high profile. It just came to mind, I threw it out, what I said, Jaiman Hansu. I don't know, maybe he's a little old, but what are your thoughts on, on a, a name actor versus getting somebody that doesn't have kind of the prior awareness with film goers, but is simply a strong actor for this character? Do you have a preference? Well, you know, uh, I don't want to throw names out there, but I, I love Denzel. Uh, he's just uh, one of my greatest actors uh, you know, I've ever seen. Uh, I, I would like somebody with, who's younger, you know, a little younger, uh, who's got that kind of tenacity, who's like, okay, I'm gonna be the next actor, I'm gonna make it happen. That is the kind of person we're looking for for this, because I, I believe that we've got an amazing project which, uh, which can grow and become better, and you know, uh, as a, a character with longevity, and so we're looking for somebody who can really carry this, so they gotta be willing to step up to the plate. <laughs>